company started with four graduate students, <laughs> with Professor Carasoni, that's five founders. And we worked on primarily the medical exoskeleton. And he kind of convinced us to stay around to start this company together and gradually evolved into industrial. And now we have a recreational and a defense exoskeleton. On the medical side, we have a device right now primarily for paraplegics, so allow them to stand up and walk. That's primarily for uh, reducing the risk of secondary injuries. That's very damaging for the body and very costly. We really focus on simplicity right from the beginning and affordability, uh, driving the cost down so more people can have access to these devices. If you have a really good device that costs $100,000, not a lot of people can have access to them. In terms of on the industrial side, we're focusing primarily on back injuries, shoulder injuries, and leg injuries. Let's say for the back X. It's designed to essentially support the weight of the user's upper body and whatever weight he's holding when he's in a stoop position, bending over, picking up an object, transfer that weight through the exoskeleton frame, through the torturator, and transfer it to the legs, bypassing you know, injury-prone back muscles. By that, reduce fatigue-related injuries. It's extremely difficult to make a lightweight device that doesn't impede the user. So a lot of our focus is really making it lightweight, doesn't generate a lot of heat, and only assist the user when necessary. We found out really early on that if the worker is impeding anyway, they won't want to wear it. They will take it off within the first five minutes. Recently, we've been running clinical trials, so we're getting a lot more people coming in to try the devices. It's always extremely rewarding to see them be able to stand up and walk, and their comments is just you know, like revitalize everyone here, boost the morale, you know, it's like just really good to see the response and, and the type of work that we do can really impact people's lives.